Hello, I'm Avoiding Relegation, and welcome to episode 5 of The Rise of Oz Balance. We are now teetering at the end of the season. We are literally on the edge of the, the final part of the season. We have one game left in the promotion group stage, and to give you an idea, we have just beaten um, certain ends 5 0, um, which has us firmly in second place behind St. Trent's. And what that means is if we keep second place, we will go into the promotion final. If we win that, the final game, we will go up. But there is work to be done. Okay, so this is how the promotion groups look. As you can see, we have one game left. We are in second place. St. Trent's are already promoted. We, of course, well, between us and Lulatano to go up, but we are in the slightly stronger position. We are two points ahead of them, but it does mean we need to draw at the very least, but preferably win our next match, and that will actually get us promoted. Now, if we actually have a look at the rules here, uh, there we go. at the moment we're in a promotion stage, and obviously the first team from each group gets promoted to the third division, but they also get into the Champions Playoff Final, which is there. And it states there, losing team wins promotion to Portuguese third division. Pretty sure that's both teams do, because judging by the promotion stage, first place finish, is already promoted so obviously we're angling for the second place promotion um, which means we're not going to be in the championship player final but obviously if we secure it we go up so the final game itself is against Baronets and they are actually set fifth in our group so technically speaking they're probably not going to be a challenge but obviously we have to take this game very very seriously <laughs> going into the final match we do have some injury issues unfortunately Foles is out. He's only a backup. That's not a, a huge one. He's out for three months, though, which does hurt. But Ruben, our number one and only striker at the moment, is unfortunately injured and will miss the final game. Um, he's going to be out for three weeks, basically, so that's no good. Mauro Antunes, of course, who is our regular playmaker outright. Well, he's not fit either. And he's been out for a little while, but uh, he's on the road to recovery, but he's going to miss his final match. And, of course, Fabio Marinaro are arguably our, well, you see, star player, our top centre-half, is also unavailable for this match. So, in terms of how we're going to, whoops, in terms of how we're going to look, that is it. We've got Valverde in goal. We've got Zepedro, Medina, Conti, and Raylan making up the back four. We've got Seneca playing in at half-back, and it's central midfield, Pereira and kick-ass. Left wing, Clay. Right wing, Brito. And up front, it's Bruno Botas, who, well, he's not a striker. But he's going to have to do. As you can see, that gives you an idea of what's happening there with both Brito and Botas. They are our best options, but they're not our best options, if you know what I mean. So, that is how we will go into this match. We are, of course, away. Though I feel our form and performance does actually give us the edge. And obviously, we've beaten them once already. Um, but yeah, we carry on where we did. or we'll carry on from where we did last match. We should do all right. But like I say, we must draw or win this game. Um, we have a healthy enough goal difference to be doing better, or, or to, you know, to keep second on goal difference. But I did, but we have to get a point minimum. I would suggest he might be a little too defensive. It's true. This is how Osbalens line up, and yes, having a half half back. It's more about the role that he was uh, capable of playing. As you can see, we are not going to be going up in top place. But as long as we get this result, we will get promoted to the Portuguese third division. Bruno with the kickoff. And like I say, we'll see how we get on. Clay already been fouled by Diogo Gonçalves, who's got his first yellow. And look at that, we're not even a minute in, 30 seconds. Medina, Re Pereira. All through, Kikas takes his shot. Oh my goodness. Clay picking up and jumping on that one. Re Pereira looking to get a cross in. It's been cleared. Carvalho now on the counter attack. The Baron Ants. And we've had a shot. One shot, one on target. And we're coming up to 10 minutes. Baron Ants yet to figure with shots. And of course, their XG is zero, or in fact, non existent as a result. Clay and Brito not having a strong start, so let's give them some encouragement and maybe go a bit positive. We are away from home, I realise, but still, 
experiments now. Two shots, one on target. 34 minutes gone. Three shots. Positive hasn't worked. Let's go back to... Let's try cautious. See if we can counter-attack him a little bit. Yeah, already on counter. It's half time coming up. We've had two shots, one on target to their three and one. Their XG is only 0.03 and ours is only 0.16. So being without Ruben and being without Antiums clearly is having an effect on our, our goal scoring ability. So let's see if we can do a little bit better in the second half. Um, we're not going to win if we don't shoot. It is true. Brito not enjoying the wide playmaker role, seemingly. Everybody playing about average, apart from Botus, Clay, and Brito, who all need to pick their game up a little bit. So we'll give them about 10 minutes in the second half. We'll see how it goes. But it is still nil-nil as we go into the second half. And the ball is with Baron Entz, who took the kickoff. And like I say, they have nothing really to expect from this competition now. But for us, it is an opportunity to go up to Pedro with the throw-in. Finds Medina. It's been cleared. Rui Pereira. Kick-ass. Oh, my goodness. Francisco Seneca. Makes it 1-0. He's our anchor man, by the way. Sorry, anchor man. Half-back. He is our half-back. Rui Pereira. Kick-ass. And he scored. Look at that, 1-0. After 48 minutes, we are in the second half, but uh, I feel a little bit more comfortable now. I'll not lie. Not that they were necessarily pressing us too hard. They've only had one shot on target, but then we've only had two, so... Zepedro for free ass is a good move. And they've brought on Easy. And Jorge. And we'll bring on... Gavano. And Benny is waiting on the bench because Benny's not played for quite some time. Clay into the middle. He got injured and uh, actually ended up sort of being out of contention. Medina. Uh, sorry, not Medina. Sorry, Brito. Sorry, Seneca even has held on to that spot very well. Seneca, of course, has a knock there. We might have to bring him off in favour of Benny. Baron Enz coming forward. Oh my goodness. Solo run. Runs it into the box. And hammers it home. It is 1-1. This is not a good situation. On Salvis. All that space. Oh, Balenz. Well, I'm going to make those tactical changes. Benny is on. 83 minutes gone. Go back to balance. Consalves with a cross. And oh my goodness, Valverde holds that one. That was nearly our promotion over with. It's 85 minutes gone. We need to hold on. I'm actually going to waste time. And maybe demand a bit more from them. But they've had 10 shots for on target. It's almost over. But they've got a, oh my good, a final opportunity. Cleared by Rui Pereira. But not far enough. Gonsalves. That was close towards the end there. But we've drawn with Baron Entz, which I believe should have us promoted in second place. So let's see. <laughs> so it's the end of the match, and sure enough, BT Championship Promotion Stage Group A, Balance Celebrate Final Day Promotion just by getting a, a draw, unfortunately. But if we actually have a look at the group, you can see... We got the P bias. We made it up 17 points. Lulitano on 14 points. We are now going up to the Portuguese third division. If we actually just have a quick look. That, again, that's uh, in two stages. Um, I'm pretty sure we will be in the south stage. We might be in the north stage. But yeah, that also follows a similar sort of setup to the championship. So we're up. It's a promotion in our first season, which is absolutely fantastic. I mean, admittedly, we were very, very strong in the initial group, and we've been fairly strong here. Not as dominant, should we say, as St. Trent's, and considering we were more dominant than St. Trent's in the league, it's kind of surprising. But nevertheless, we have some work to do in close season, which will, of course, happen. But the next episode you will see will be in the new season.
So in the meantime, don't forget, you can come and join us on Twitch. And uh, yeah, don't forget, follow me on Twitter, follow me on YouTube. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, <laughs>